Hey now, what's up Snapchat? So I am back and I'm here tonight to do a spill for the star sign of Taurus, okay? So let me elaborate a little bit about the star sign of Taurus. So Taurus is an earth sign along with Capricorn and Virgo. It is the ruler of the second house in the zodiac wheel, which the second house has to do with your finances, how you make money, what you like to spend on your money, and spend your money on, sorry, and whatnot. So basically that is, you know, Taurus, the hard stern father. Um, so also Taurus is ruled by the ram, which is crazy because the ram is signified with the star sign of Aries. So Aries and Taurus could have some collaboration, you know? Um, also, <clears throat> like I said, Taurus is the element of earth, meaning that it is able to manifest anything here on this earth plane that is tangible. Okay. So, okay. Snapchat. So like I said, this is a general reading. So just let me shuffle these cards, get into the Taurus energy and I will return with your reading. So stay posted Snapchat. Thanks for watching. Okay, Snapchat haters, lovers, and friends. So, remember, this is a general reading, meaning it cannot and will not and will not go with everyone whom is Taurus. However, if you stay posted for the following readings when I decide to do so, then perhaps you'll be taking on the energy of that sign during this time. So please take what fits, leave what doesn't, do not try to make it fit, and what doesn't apply, let it fly. So, by general reading, that means that it may go with you even if this is not your sign or someone who you are dealing with. What that just means is that you probably have this somewhere aspected strongly in your chart or you're just taking on the energy of this sign during this time, okay? So, I have pulled some messages from the Lover's Oracle card and what I got is Girl Talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So, some of you may be single. Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, and make memories. Okay. Cassette, and it says outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Okay, so we have cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Then we have the golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. And last but not least, we have Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change mind. So those are your opening messages. And however they apply to you, take what fits and leave what doesn't. So let me pull on the Taurus energy and see what I pick up for your reading. Okay, so the overall energy is this Empress card, which is your card. Okay, so the Taurus... Um, and Libra resonate with this card, with this Empress card. And as you can see, the ruler is Venus. That's why the Venus symbol is there. And the Empress is rem reminding you that you're nurturing. It's talking about balance, motherly things. It's talking about just overall being in your Empress energy. And if Okay, Taurus. So if you are a female, this could be in representation of you or somebody who is in your surroundings who is just this motherly um, energy. Or if you are a male, it could be the empress that you're dealing with or your mother, your sister, something like that, okay? Just somebody who is in this empress energy because the empress is somebody who's nurturing. So what is crossing you is this four of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now the four of cups is talking about somebody who is unhappy. So you put it where it goes. Um, but somebody who is not satisfied with something that they're being offered or they're tired of routine like so they want to put an end to some kind of situation so it doesn't mean like a permanent end it just means a change okay so the death card is something to change which is scorpio energy and it could be switching up and possibly coming with more nurturing so maybe that's why it's coming up as this empress energy because we have this queen of cups here so the queen of cups is coming with some kind of like love offer like maybe so what this is talking about is coming with a little bit more feminine energy. So maybe spicing things up a little bit more or being more, you know, kinder, nicer, cooler, not a Debbie Downer. So I'm getting here that maybe have some tricks up your sleeve with this magician card. Okay, so the magician is talking about Aries energy, but as you can see here, he has all the tools, everything that he needs to manifest what it is that he wants. So I feel like this is talking about manipulative, manipulative energy or it's talking about you working your magic. But I'm seeing here that
there could be something devilish about it. So some toxicity there. Maybe like a little bit of demons. So maybe it's talking about control. Controlling the situation. So if you're trying to control something, then of course it becomes injustice with this. The okay, Taurus. So what I'm getting here with these major arcana cards, which we have. One, two, three, four, and five. So this is a major obstacle in your life. And what I'm getting here is it's talking about always having the need to be in control. So maybe you use your um, good sometimes for bad and it's only beneficial to you. So what I'm seeing here is that you need to let go of those control powers, control issues, because sometimes it pushes people away. So what I'm getting is the three of cups. So the three of cups is talking about, you know, lining up like it's talking about having a good time. It's talking about togetherness. It's talking about uh, communicating, but also the needing to be free or like childlike energy. That's what I'm getting, playful energy. So it's not always about work, what I'm getting here with this Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So I'm seeing here that there's a need to put in some effort if you want to continue for 